Nonviolent action. But they ask, and rightly so, what about Vietnam? They ask if our own nation wasn't using massive doses of violence to solve its problems, to bring about the changes it wanted. Their questions hit home, and I knew that I could never again raise my voice against the violence of the oppressed in the ghettos without having first spoken clearly to the greatest purveyor of violence in the world today, my own government, for the sake of those boys, for the sake of this government, for the sake of the hundreds of thousands trembling under our violence, I cannot be silent. Done a lot of applauding over the last few years. Oh, may God bless the legacy of Martin Luther King. They've applauded and may our God bless all Americans, Americans on this special, special, special. They've day. applauded Thank me. You. America and most of its newspapers applauded me in Montgomery. Oh, the press was so noble in its applause. So noble in its praise when I was saying be nonviolent toward Bull Connor. When I was saying be nonviolent toward Jim Clark. There's something strangely inconsistent about a nation and a press that will praise you when you say be nonviolent toward Jim Clark, but will curse and damn you when you say be nonviolent toward little brown Vietnamese children. There's something wrong with that press. Next time, the Gulf War continues. Don't let anybody make you think God chose America as his divine messianic force to be. A sort of policeman of the whole world. God has a way of standing before the nations with judgment. And it seems that I can hear God saying to America, you are too arrogant. Don't change your way. Imagine I will rise, rise up like a and break body. the backbone. What of happens if we sever their spinal cord? Uh, the latest United Nations study says that the, 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 the death rate of children has doubled under sanctions. Imagine the wrath. That's half a million dead. Men would beat their swords in plowshares. We have heard that half a million children. I mean, that's more what children than dying in Hiroshima. And, and you know, is the price right. worth it? I think this is a very hard choice, but the price, we think the price is worth it. No more. A nation that continues year after year to spend more money on military defense than on programs of social uplift is approaching spiritual death consisted of more attacks in the master attack plan than the entire number of targets that were targeted in the years 1942 and 1943 during the combined bomber offensive in Europe. That first night was a new benchmark in the history of warfare. The first time the world had seen precision bombing on a vast scale. The bunker that was attacked last night was a military target. 204 people, many women and children were killed. The shelters were the only places in the city with running water and electricity. So each night, families gathered in them. I miss my wife and my children. It's not fair. Nobody, uh, nobody says something. I'm now going to show you a picture of the luckiest man in Iraq on this particular day. Keep your eye on the crosshairs. The shelters were the only places okay. in the city with running okay. water and electricity. Right through the crosshairs. In Riyadh, the military's carefully screened videos were giving the impression that this was a bloodless war. And now, in his rearview mirror... <laughs> the Iraqi people food and medicines... And Don't supplies. let anybody make you think 
and free and free and free. God chose America as his divine messianic force to be a sort of policeman of the whole world. And then I asked the and then I played God bless the English. I think it's characterized by the 